Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I want to introduce you to Flask Blueprints. So Blueprints in Flask are a great way of organizing your project once it gets past a certain size. So once you feel like a single file isn't enough and you want to grow and expand more files, Blueprints are probably the thing that you want to look into using. So Blueprints allow you to group together routes that have some commonality. And an example of that would be like your profile section, uh, the authentication stuff, maybe a forum, uh, maybe a store. All those things can be thought of as a collection of specific routes in your app, whereas they're separate from the other potential blueprints you can have. So there's a difference between the forum and the store, for example. And you can separate the code and you can have all the store stuff in one blueprint and all the forum stuff in another blueprint. So that's what I'll be showing you how to do in this video. So I'm gonna create a simple example, but it's gonna illustrate how to use it and you should be able to adapt it for more code. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by creating a directory for my entire project and I'm gonna call this my app. And I already have Flask installed by the way. And I'll just CD into that directory. Actually no, I'll keep it like this because I wanna export the Flask app to be my app. So when I run Flask run, it will pick up my app. And of course it doesn't find anything because I haven't written any code yet, but I'm gonna use my app. So inside of my app, to start this, I'm gonna need a dunder init file. And what I wanna do here is I want to just import Flask and create a create app function. So uh, from Flask, import Flask, and I'll create a create app function. So create app, and then I'll instantiate the Flask object, and I'll return that app. Okay, so now that I have that, I can start thinking about my blueprints. So in this example, I'm gonna create two different blueprints. So the first blueprint will be a blueprint for, let's say the site. So the part of your app that people actually see when they use it in their, in their browser. And then I'll have another blueprint for the API. So imagine that our site and our API, like they use the same database. Uh, there's a lot of common utility functions between them, but of course there's a different output. For the site, you have HTML that gets outputted and for the API it's just JSON data. So to create those blueprints, what I wanna do is I wanna create two directories, one for the site and one for the API. So to do that, I'll make the directories. So make directory site, and this should be my app site. And then I'll do the same for the API. All right, so inside of those, what I'm gonna do as a way of pretending to organize this is I'm gonna put a couple of files, uh, one per directory, and this will be where all my routes are. So for example, if I have 10 routes for my API, I'll put them all in this file that I'm about to create. And if I have five for my site, I'll put them in the file. And I'll name this file routes.py, but you can name it views, you can name it uh, anything you want that just makes sense to you. So views, controllers, uh, routes, uh, whatever name, but I'll use routes since in Flask they're called routes. So let me go ahead and create those. So sites and then routes.py. And then I'll do the same thing for the API. So this should be API, then routes.py. Okay, so now I can open up one and this is where I'm gonna create the blueprint. So to create a blueprint, you have to import the blueprint class from Flask. So from Flask, import blueprint, capital B. And to get started using a blueprint, you have to instantiate it. So it's actually gonna be pretty similar to how you use the a regular Flask app. So to do this, you're going to give it a name. So this blueprint will be named site. And I'll call this uh, site again. So you can pass in a name to the blueprint and then you have site here. And then you pass in the name of the module. So dunder name. And then once you have this site object or this blueprint object, you can start using it like you would a route. So typically you would do something like app route and then you would specify like the endpoint for the route. But what I wanna do is I want to say site route. So you use the name of the blueprint here to uh, have the route decorator and then you can assign the endpoints just like you do normally. So I'll call this index and I'll return, you know, uh, welcome to the, to the home page. Okay, so I'll put this in header tags not really too important what gets returned. But you know, just imagine you have more routes than this. So all the routes that are specific to the site, 
would go in this one file. And then I'll do the same thing for the API. So I'll open up routes. So from Flask import blueprints, and I'll call this one API, so blueprints. Give it the name API, pass in Dunder name. But in addition to this, I wanna pass in a URL prefix. And this will allow me to go to certain endpoints that will only be for that blueprint. So I wanna call this slash API. So I'll go to my domain slash API, and then everything that follows is going to be from this blueprint because I'm using that URL prefix. And if I create a route, and it shouldn't be app, it should be API. If I create a route, and let's say I call this um, get data, we'll see when I run the example what URL I have to go to to get this. So I'll call the function get data as well, and I'll return an empty dictionary. So I'll just say key and then value. Okay, so I have these two blueprints ready. So how do I get them to work? So what I need to do is I want to import them in here. So it's gonna be from, I'm gonna have two. So from api.routes, import API, and then from site.routes, import site, okay? And then what I can do is I can register those blueprints. So to register a blueprint, that's when you use the app object. So inside of this create app function, I'll do app, uh, register underscore blueprint, and I'll do that for each one. So one for API and one for site. Now let's see if everything is working. I'll do flask run. Uh, I get this import error, no module name API. I should be using the relative dot. So just dot so I can go inside of the app itself. I'll save that and let's try running it again. Okay, so my server is running. And if I go over to my browser, and navigate to my local host and port 5000, that's where the server is running. We see I have welcome to the homepage. So this is on the index. And if I want to get the API, remember I have to use the API URL prefix, so slash API, and then I can use get data. And that will return the data that I have, just key value. So if I just go back there to demonstrate, we have this URL prefix, we change that to anything else, we'll have to change the URL. So anything that comes after this URL or this endpoint will then have access to the routes inside of this particular blueprint. So nothing in the site can interfere with this. You don't necessarily need to have a URL prefix. It just depends on how you wanna organize your endpoints. But for this, an API, it makes sense to have a different prefix for the API uh, compared to just the regular site. So really when you're using this, it's just, you know, extending this. So if you want to add more routes in here, you can. If you want to create a new uh, module, and if you want to create more blueprints, you can. You just have to import them in here and then register them on the app, and you can start using them. So I hope you were able to understand blueprints a little bit. I think they're a pretty basic concept, but, you know, they can be a little unapproachable at first. But once you see an example of how they work, I think they become a lot more clear. So uh, in addition to talking about blueprints, I also talk about using Flask SQL Alchemy. So if you want to join my free course on Flask SQL Alchemy on my website, just go to prettyprinted.com slash Flask SQL, and I'll put a link in the description below as well that you can click on. And that will give you access to this course on how to use uh, Flask SQL Alchemy and do various things, run various queries, so you can have that knowledge when you build your Flask apps. So. That's it for this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.